uh, we are here today for the closing ceremony of the advanced uh, seminar that we took for the last four days, facilitated by Dr. David Onan. And I will call uh, Dr. Sarah to say her word on behalf of the participants. For Professor Suleiman, thank you very much in your absentia. We ask Allah to bless you more, to give you more life, but also to bless you with uh, more resources so that the university can go ahead. We thank the Vice President, Academic Affairs. He has been uh, in full touch in the organization of this workshop. Thank you very much. The Vice President, uh, Finance and Accounting, we know if you're not here, if that office is not working, then everything we are talking about. <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't, wouldn't be here. I've been taking breakfast, cupcakes, samosas, <laughs> you know, the fuel in the cars. Thank you very much. Uh, all the other people that have been on the organizing committee, my boss Mukhtar. Thank you very much. You've been informing us on the mess, on uh, what is taking place. We are meeting at this time, the bus is picking you at this time, and I believe to everyone. Thank you so very much. I would also like to thank uh, Dr. Onen, who just always came all the way from Uganda to here just to contribute to Amud University, uh, to help us, to our students, through helping the staff members and also directly uh, to our students. Uh, I think this kind of seminar uh, will facilitate and just give uh, gave us a new insight the way we were just uh, coaching and helping to our students. Uh, lastly, I would like to thank the participants uh, of the seminar for the commitment that you gave that for uh, consecutive days. Uh, <coughs> so this will help to our teachers for facilitating and for the betterment of uh, our work and especially for supervision, supervising our students. So the essence of the seminar just is to transfer the knowledge so we have to transfer that kind of understanding, that kind of uh, maybe the new insight that we share it here to our students. Uh, and they will just, uh, they will see from us that we just gained a lot of things from our just uh, discussion during the days of seminar. And our students will benefit more. Uh, especially when it comes to just uh, supervision and coaching them, because the supervisor is the helper of the students. The kind of knowledge that we learn it, uh, I think, has to facilitate that we have to be flexible and not just uh, to stick it to just uh, <clears throat> to one way or just only one direction that we can get uh, to our students. Uh, I just, I am sure that we can uh, implement that kind of uh, just knowledge uh, in our work just environment. Was to produce a new research manual okay. and this uh, exchange is part of the process that will help us reach there. Okay. This is why we left it open. Not that we did not want to contribute. We left it open. We wanted everybody to say anything, anyhow, in any way. Yeah. Whether it's hurting you or not hurting you, we gave the freedom. The vice president did not intervene. I did not intervene. Even where we were, we felt it, let it be open. Uh, but we have taken the sentiments. We have taken your views. But I still want to say that a mood is a mood university 
it has to stand on certain principles that makes it a mood university. I checked a little bit about dissertation and thesis, again, beyond what I know. Mm. I went through 11 articles, 11 sources, and 5 encyclopedia, just to try to see whether this is this and this is that. Mm -hmm. I found of the 11 and 5, three of them put a thesis above a dissertation. Eight of them put a dissertation above a thesis. Right. So three put at, at said a, th a thesis higher than a dissertation. Yeah. Eight of them said a dissertation is higher than a thesis. All the encyclopedia, Britannica, Encyclopedia of Education, Encyclopedia of uh, call it World Book Encyclopedia, none of them placed a thesis above a dissertation. But again, as you said, those are semantics. They are all documents written for the uh, award of an academic degree. But what I did not find, what I did not find is the Macarere definition. Yeah. And why am I saying that? I looked at uh, the document you gave me. I realized again it is not. Then I realized sometimes it becomes necessary for an institution to stand out and say, in our context, yeah. this is what it is. Yeah, yeah. And the way I know the Ugandan system, tomorrow, KIU will define a decision the way Makarere defines it. And in that way, knowledge is expanding. Knowledge expanding. This is why we still feel that as a mood, we are part of the global village, but we are also, we are also unique in the way we run our, our system. Otherwise, if we don't maintain that, we cannot be a university. We will end up being a school of University of Nairobi, a school of Kiambogo, ETC. Yeah. To close this ceremony, it gives me great pleasure that Amud University has succeeded to bring two doctors who are among the most reputable academicians in East Africa, Dr. Onan and Dr. Oso. I have no doubt that research is their field and they have already succeeded to produce books, guidelines, followed by supervisors and students. I cannot stress or explain in words what and what what when I see our colleagues from Uganda and Kenya, Dr. Onen, and also. Yes, we have been interacting for the last four days, exchanging our ideas, uh, benefiting from one another. Uh, it just, I think that this will increase or will empower our knowledge to where is research. Uh, yes, every university has, must have it is own specific manual. Therefore, inshallah, we'll produce harmonized one as soon as possible. On the other side, Dr. Onen will be with us until January 31st. He will teach three classes, both in Borama and in Hergesa, for the coming two weeks. He will attend and observe 
how our students are defending or making proposal here and he will advise just I want to ask our colleagues to release their students each member of our colleagues should release his students yeah to see yes what we are doing here what we are doing here whether we are on right track or wrong he will advise us inshallah there will be one day workshop after after the supervision okay therefore i am really very proud of all of my colleagues who are teaching and supervising school of postgraduate amud university <laughs> i am sure when it comes subject matter they are more competent and when it comes to research they have good knowledge really and we are human beings we are just making progress together together for express thanks to dr onan who came all the way from uganda to our university to share with us to teach us and to share with us his experience in the field of research in fact he did not come here solely to teach because there are professors here already in the university phd's professors who are running the research the the, the, the research methodology but the objective was we needed someone outside with whom we can share our experience i would like to thank also dr mohammed who really proposed it who had the initiative uh, of this uh, seminar and i also would like to thank his team for organizing the workshop properly <laughs> research activity can be very frustrating for both professors and students if it is not handled properly it's a hectic work if things are not done pro properly at their proper time it can be very frustrating so i wish or that lecturers this is an advice in fact it is my own advice that uh, the lecturers should uh, in fact uh, cooperate it's a collective work it's not something that's done by a student or by the lecturer it's a collective work if each one does not do his work or her work properly I mean the professors have got their own part and the students have their own part the students are supposed to do their part properly and the, and the supervisors or the professors are required to do their part properly if all things are done properly then things can be easy for both the students and lecturers it shouldn't be if i may use these words it shouldn't be a battlefield for settling you know uh, disputes personal disputes among the lecturers it shouldn't be a battlefield in fact it is said that 
when two elephants fight, the grass suffers. In fact, this is an intellectual activity. There can, there can be differences in opinions, but this we should condone each other. We should tolerate each other. In this intellectual activity, there could be a debate, there could be differences, there are discussions. <laughs> but we don't have to take you know, this to heart. If your ideas are different from you know, your colleague, you, you, know, you don't take you know, things to heart. So uh, I urge you to cooperate. If professors don't cooperate, in fact, students are going to suffer, yeah. and you are going to suffer too. It's a matter of cooperation. You learn from each other, you have to learn from each other. I believe that much of the work of the research is finished at, at the proposal level. By the time the proposal is defended, 80% of the work should be, have been finished. Because what remains is you know, that analysis and all these, uh, but the direction of the research ends with the proposal. I urge you to give uh, importance or priority to the proposal. I know that you are very busy, you are taking you know, your work, is, I mean, uh, courses, uh, you are overloaded, and maybe you don't have time, but you should get time for the student, really. If you just le become lenient with the proposal, and just let the student pass, go on, so that you wait for the last defense. I think this is a disaster, and I have seen, you know, in many of the defending um, uh, panelists, you know, in the last time that, for example, uh, uh, the validity, or I mean, uh, uh, the, the topic is discussed, whether the topic is researchable or not, at the end of the defense. You know, this shouldn't happen really. Students should be stopped at the proposal level. The supervisor should be very sincere about it. Should advise the student. Your dignity and your reputation is involved in, 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 your, in your superficial reality, the professor. Because at the end, your reputation, reputation is involved. Who has advised you know, this student? So you should stop the students you know, at the proposal level. No, this cannot go. I remember when I was doing uh, my master's, you know, it was uh, 40 years ago, I don't know, 38 years ago, <laughs> yeah. My advisor, in fact, was my panel, really. He stopped, you know, he would say, for example, you know, we cannot proceed. We cannot take this uh, to the panel. You have to do this and this. You have to do that, you have to refer, you have to, you know, we need more literature, we need this, we need this. Unless he, 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 we were ready for defense, he, he, wouldn't allow, he didn't allow me, really. So I didn't have any problem when it came to the defense last time. Because you know, maybe technical matters, you know, things uh, like that. But here, I have seen many things really. Please, so I advise you to advise to be kind to the students. I don't mean to be lenient, but to, in fact, to be kind in the way that you direct them really. You direct them, you advise them, give more time. I have seen, I have heard about, you know, just uh, for example, the, some of the lecturers. Uh, just comment, make comments on, and they write on the paper, you know, just uh, say change this one, do this one, this one. And they turn to the uh, student without just, you know, sitting face to face with the student, you know. Some of the students can me that they can, could not write, read, you know, even the handwriting of the lecturers because they were scribed, yeah. 
So please uh, give more time to the lecturers, I mean to the students, more time. More time. We are a young university. We are growing together. We are growing. I know you are doing under very difficult circumstances. You are not in your country. You lack so many things and amenities in your country. But this is what we have really. This is our reality. Uh, you came here to help us and we we know that. We know that you are missing so many things. Your families, you have been here uh, in Christmas. There is not much entertainment, nothing, all work. I can't, we know how much you are frustrated really. We know. Even then, try your best to, to do. We will remember you forever. You created, you know, this. Uh, uh, university, you know, just helped us create this university. You are a member of us. The history, history will talk about you in future.